Hey, hey, how's it going all you mechanical maniacs? Here's Quasar here. Welcome back to my garage of at Quasar's Customs. Today we're going to be doing something different. Instead of doing this series, I've had a lot of questions about how to get the cars out in the area around the garage and actually the one inside here in this blank spot here. So I figured, you know, I had enough of these questions to say, you know what, maybe I need to do something and try to help you guys understand how to configure it and get those cars where you want them, all right? First of all, though, you have to download the QOL mod. QOL stands for quality of life. So without that mod, you're not going to be able to do anything that I'm about to show you. And you will be amiss not to download this and add this to your file because it just takes the game to a whole different level, right? So, first of all, with the parking, you want to go from not having anything out here except for your basic one, two, three, right? You want to go to something like, to something like this. Or even, or you could set something up like this for your own layout of your own garage and your own gas station. So yeah, we've got all this here and we've got three of them back there by the dyno. So yeah, you can do just about anything you want to with this, um, with this config. And all you need is just a, a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of skill, and uh, we can get you through it. But you know what? I'm here to help, help you and I'm going to do it right now. All right, so you want to dress up your boring parking lot. Hey, I get it. I want to do the same thing, right? So I'm going to teach you how to do it. But first of all, again, let me reiterate, when you download the QOL mod, you need to download the 0 0.5 5.7 version okay if you don't download that particular version this will not work and you'll get all kinds of errors and you'll be posting stuff everywhere trying to figure out what's wrong with it make sure you have that version downloaded and that's the only version you use as of right now that's the only version you should be using all right okay so we've reverted back to this should be the parking configuration that comes with the QOL mod. And we're just gonna work with this configuration so that you know how to move cars around and how to place them, all right? There's nothing in the back. All right, there's nothing in the back, nothing at the car wash. We have nothing in the shops, nothing back here. Just to, just to show you and prove to you, there's nothing back here. All right, so and this is just the key of how to do it. All right, first and foremost, what we need to do is understand the positioning of where the cars go. And then I'll get into the file structure, all right? So let's take a look of how the grid layout of the garage is actually done. All right, so this is basically your garage layout, right? So to understand where cars need to be positioned, you have to understand the, how it's numbered out, right? So along the front here is basically 33 okay so that's a lot right along that front line right uh, right along that uh right there by the sign now you could go a little farther towards the road which you could increase the number to 35 36 or something like that right you can increase it now how far can you increase it i'm really not sure because i haven't really tested it to find out for sure i'm just going to let you know what you can do within the fencing area of the garage you can do your own experiments all right so 33 being the front row, basically the back along the, along the dyno station back there is a negative 19.5. Okay, so you can understand uh, a negative 19.5 to 33, you know where the structure is. If you went to zero, it would probably be you know somewhere in between uh, the flatbed and the bench down there with the rows on it, right? Somewhere right like in between there somewhere. Now the next numbers you need to know is along the fence line. On this side, it's 25. Now, along the other fence line over here, it's a negative 
Now, can you go outside the fence line? Of course you can. But just telling you, just for reference, this is pretty much where the ballpark of where you need to be, right? Now, to give you an overall uh, consensus of an, like an overview, what we're going to do is throw it into grid view, right? This, the, the black line's your road. Again, you've got 33 across the front, 19.5, negative 19.5 across the back. Um, you have 25 along the left-hand side fence, and you have a negative 28.5 on the right-hand side of the fence. Now, if you were to place a uh, car right here in the cor upper corner, your numerical system will look like this, 25, 0, 33. Tells you the exact position to put your car. So your car would be right in that corner where that blue square is. Okay? Do we understand the numerical system? I hope so. If not, pause it, review it, do what you need to do, and then come back. Right? Okay. Let's take a look at the files we need to manipulate. All right, for the parking configuration, we need to look at two different files. Now, the first file I want you to take a look at is the QOL mod config file right there. Um, this file has a lot of information for the QOL mod itself. You could turn stuff on, turn it off, and configure some stuff. And that's exactly what we need to do in the QOL mod, is to configure something. Um, we need to configure how many cars get loaded, right? Now, with that, what you need to understand is the more cars you load, the more your system is going to get bogged down. If you don't understand that, try not to put 25 cars in there and load it up on a potato of a PC because you will fry the CPU, all right? So do it a little bit at a time. If you're unsure about your system, by all means, start with five, then go 10, you know, start two or three at a time and see how your system reacts. Don't throw 25 cars in there and expect it to load and be happy, okay? <laughs> because it just doesn't work that way, all right? So make sure I'm giving you a caution right now. I don't want you frying your system. So be careful with it. So we're going to jump into QOL mod right now. What I'm going to use is Notepad++. This is a free open source code editor. It's kind of like uh, Word, Microsoft Word. But it's a whole lot better in my opinion. So let's go ahead and open up with Microsoft with this uh, Notepad. With Notepad right here, what we have highlighted already is amount extra cars enabled. Right, that number right there will give you how many cars are enabled to load into the game when you load in. All right, this is changeable to five to 25. Okay, so if I were to change it to five, and let's say I save it right now, let me go back to the game and I'll show you what we got. We'll go out, we'll return to the menu. And I'm using that config testing to file. This is where I was using, I was using this file to test several configs um, just to make sure everything's all right, uh, to build them, make sure everything was good. So this is a file that I was using constantly when I had all the configs, when I was uploading configs to the workshop. So yeah, if you're wondering what it is, that's what it is. All right, let's step outside here and I'll show you. All right, we got five cars enabled, right? So we got one. Two, three, four, and five. Five cars enabled. So only five cars loaded. Right? So this is what you want to do. You want to just enable just enough to find out how your PC is going to react. Because I can tell you, the more cars, the more load on your PC, and you're going to have troubles with it. All right? So, again, the first, um, first file to mess with is that QOL config file our QOL mod config file and make that number, I don't know, 10, make it 10, make it five, do whatever before you do anything else. All right. So that's your first file to take a look at. Okay. So now the second file 
what you're going to do is do in the editing is this extra car loader places config file. Okay. This is the file that places your cars. This is the file that kind of tallies your cars of how many you put in it. And it's pretty easy to manipulate and we'll go through some of the pieces of it so you understand it a little bit better. Okay. So let's go ahead and open up this file. Um, Notepad++. plus plus. All right. First and foremost, what you'll see are these are labeled. Parking index one, parking index two, parking index three, right? These are important. If you don't have this set up right, it will not work. Parking index zero, all right? This kind of gives you, this area up here gives you an overall um, kind of uh, what you do with the car when it loads in, right? So this is the place loader. This is the location, um, rotation of the car, whether it's zero to 360, uh, steering wheel angle, if you want to change that around. Um, do we want to generate wheel support bricks? Like if you load in a junk car, does it have wheels on it? And if it doesn't have wheels on it, do you want um, bricks underneath it? Basically, that's what it says. Um, and then random event um, uh, index. This is just a numbering of cars. And this is random event. You always want to have this zero. Honestly, you don't want people coming in stealing stuff off your car. Off your car. So um, leave that as zero so you don't have some random event happening to your cars. Our first car. Um, as it says, is placed between two petrol pumps, cars most likely out of the shadow. So this gives you an idea. Now, remember those numbers I was telling you about, right? Right there are those numbers. All right. So that is the number that you're looking for. And that is the number you want to change. Now, we have, um, they have, you know, kind of a description of where the car is, which is really good. All right. And it tells you exactly um, top of the tow truck on the carriage. Please no interaction is not 100% possible on this location. Uh, hood is out of reach. You can't do certain things with it. And this one doesn't like the bricks. So there's some notes in here. Now, say you wanted to add a location, right? Um, this down here, when you get down here, uh, negative one, this car index, negative one, negative one. These are just... You keep these last two. Just leave them in here, right? Just leave them in here. Um, so right now we have 12 spaces. We have zero counts as the first one, right? Um, so, um, well, we got one through 11 right here, okay? So what you would want to do if you wanted to add a new car was we would copy this entire thing. Right, have a space in between. We'll go ahead and paste it. Um, we'll change 11 to what 12, right? Um, and this is going to be what we're going to try and move this to. We are going to try and move this back into um, uh, uh, first car by dyno. First car by dyno, right. So that's going to be the next car, the first car by the dyno. So we've changed. We've added a spot, 12. Um, I don't know the rotation yet, but I know that our minus 19.5 is that back row, right? So we're going to go 19.5. Uh, um, I know that's to get it back there far enough. Um, zero, zero. This is how high the car sits, right? So the one that's sitting on top of... Uh, the truck in front of the tow truck. Uh, this is the one that's on top of the tow truck. Note the location right there, 0.92. So that brings it up, right? Um, in front of the auto repair sign, but it quite left is 0 0.03. Um, zero, zero is ground level, right? So realize that. All right, because the, let's see, the one inside of the garage, placed inside the garage floor, um, it's at a 0.01. Because the garage floor is a little bit higher, right? 
So that's where that's at. Back to the one we're going to add. Okay. Um, steering wheel position is 10. This is degrees. Like you have 0, 0 is straight. If you went uh, a negative, let's say a negative 10, it will turn it to a negative 10. Uh, wheel support, missing wheel, true. Uh, random event, we want zero. It's going to be the first car by the dyno. Uh, remember, our backside is 19.5. Our side to side was 25. So this was, actually, this should be 25, if I remember this right. 25 on the front, a negative 19.5. To the back. Negative 19.5, right? So now that I have that, what we're going to do is we're going to save it and we're going to go see where this car is at. All right, so now that we've added another car, um, I don't see it back there. So let me take a look. We are still stuck with the one, two, three, four, five cars. So let's change that config back up to 25, shall we? Okay, so we're get back into the config file. We're going to change this from five to 25. We're going to save it, and then we're going to go back into the game. Okay, now that we've added the more cars, we'll take a look back here. Oh, look what we got right here. We've got the car back by our dyno, right? Okay, so it's sitting in the wrong spot, but the wheels are turned at negative 10, right? And this is the car that went to the spot. Now, this is the 12th car. Now, you're probably asking, okay, Hurst, how can I change cars around? Like, I don't want this car up here. Um, this, this, uh, this ratty old hot rod should be up there, right? Well, take a look at your car parking. Car parking right here will show you in green probably the the way they load. This is the way they load in, right? So if you were to take that sheet and figure out where it is, the Dodge Charger that I have, um, number three is, oh, that's, um, which one is that? That is the drag build. So if I'm looking at uh, the Supernova, that's not the Supernova. What is this one? Uh, Hornet. This one is actually the Kate. Um, right. All of these will be out in the in the area. Right. This right here is the truck that's back there. So that's number twelve. Uh, Bolt Reptilia. Not sure where that sucker's at. We have 25 cars listed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Take a look around here, make sure I'm not being goofy here. Okay. So we've got. Uh, basically, it's, it's basically 12 knots. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and the card in the back is 12. So those are our 12 spots. We only had 12 spots on that config file, right? But inside here, because we have 25 spots designated, we have 25 spots here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 spots, so it takes up 2, right? These are empty. And two more here, or a few more here. Now we have this truck, this resto rod truck, we haven't done anything with. Um, that could go in the place of the DC Typhoon that's just on the truck. So if we go, if we wanted to change things around a little bit, we take this resto rod truck, we uh, swap it, right? And we'll swap it with the DC Typhoon, right? And then we go swift cars. It'll go out for a little bit of go black, and then it'll come back in, um, channel out. It may go black again. Maybe not. But if we go outside, guess what's on the back of the truck? It's our tow truck, the restaurant tow truck. And as you can tell, it kind of sits a little farther back. So we could, like, tweak on this a little bit. All right, so that's basically how you would set it up. So now 
we've got the truck here and we're trying to figure out okay it's not in the correct spot um i said 19.5 so maybe we could go 20 go back farther this way negative 20 and turn it around so let's take a look at the config okay i realized i put this in the wrong area so i'm going to cut that i'm going to put it up here placed very far left in front of the ice machine this is where it goes this is the first car by the dyno this is what i thought it was going to be as the first car by the dyno um it was not um so we can take this and basically get rid of that right okay so we went with a negative 19.5 as the far back 25 is a pretty good placement because we are pretty good with that right um so we're gonna go here we're gonna go um uh, we'll go 20.5 we'll do one because it's you have to do it in like real small increments we like the way the wheels were turned um rotation was bad so it's at 275 so what is the opposite of 275 uh i'm not even sure <laughs> uh let's go 90 well we'll go zero and we'll see how it's placed how's that so we're going to go zero to see how it's placed we save it and then we reload the game All right, we're going to go out around the bend here and see what zero looks like. So zero is this right here. Zero is straight ahead. So 270 was the other side. So we could probably go 90. No. Probably about 135. It's half of 270. So we could probably go 135 to 270. And you notice how the truck is right here in the middle of it, right? So 20 wasn't quite it. So we're going to have to go maybe 21, maybe 21 and a half, uh, maybe even 22. So let's take a look at the, the file again and tweak it one more time. All right, so we've got the, the file here. We've got 20. We're going to go... We're going to go 22 and not do with the 0.5. So we're just going to go 22. Um, rotation. Uh, we are going to go with a, a 135. That's half, of, that's half of 270, so it should bring it all the way around full board. Right? Wait. Save, and let's see what we get. Okay, so just a quick look. We did not get, we did not get there. Uh, so 135 was not the the thing, but I think we do have it in a pretty good position. If you note it, note the middle of the truck is probably the middle of there. So 22 was probably the good, good portion of it. And we would just turn it a little bit more and just rotate it till it was straight until how we wanted it. Now let's say we wanted the truck not there, but let's say we wanted it. I don't know, parked up here somewhere, right? Well, remember how we're configured here. So let's do some guesstimating, all right? Let's grab the file again. Now, with the file, we'll change this to uh, next to paint shop. Well, I tell you what. We're going to keep this one here. Next to dyno. Uh, and then we are going to make a copy of this, right? We'll just copy this up. And again, we'll have a space in between them. We'll paste it, right? Change this, and change it to 13. All right, our rotation, um, 270 was pretty good at the rotation. So 270 is going to be the rotation there. Um, 25 is the approximate location on along the fence so uh and we go into the negative so we will try i'm going to guess uh 19. um it's a negative 22 that far back so it's going to be probably a negative uh we'll try a negative 29 right now now because it is up on the lift this is just about as far as the truck is and the truck was 0.97, I think it was. So we'll go 0.97 on that. And that will raise the vehicle in the air, right? 
Um, we'll change the steering wheel rotation. We'll just we'll, we'll just go zero. There we go. All right, so we should have this all done. Now the next car that's loaded up in our parking area should load close to um, close to the paint shop. So this will be uh, next to paint booth. And I just ask you to do this so that you know where your cars are going to be. So we're going to do that. We're going to save it, and then we're going to reload it. All right, so let's do that real quick. All right, we're taking another stroll out back. Now I did adjust this back to 90. So 90 would be um, just straight on like this. Now you see that 20 or 22, I could have probably gone with a 22.1 and scooted over just a little bit farther, but you understand um, just how to do that. Now the other car that we have should have been uh, over here somewhere. Where did it go? Ah, so you see, we are up in the air, but we didn't move it over far enough. So we've got it there. We moved it back, but we didn't move it over far enough, it didn't look like. Right? So we have to go back in. You see how it's floating in the air? Yeah, she's floating in the air. Okay, so let's go back to the drawing board and pull up our, our uh, config file for our parking spots. All right, well, we have it in the position we want it in, with the exception of it kind of floating a little bit. So, you know, the middle number is what you would do to get that, that floating status to bring the car down a little bit. But that's pretty much how you would move cars around. All right, so I hope you enjoy doing that. Um, it's a lot of fun, and um, uh, I hope you enjoy just playing with the config. Um, something else I would like to show you guys. While in the QOL mod, um, Jackal has some awesome parts for the garage. Decorations. Yes, and I think you've seen, if you had a keen eye, this bonus part right here for the air register. This bad boy just kind of sits right here. How does that happen, Hurst? Well, that is a very good question. First of all, you need to go to the Steam Workshop and download all of Jackal's parts because he makes some high quality stuff. So when you do do that, you will have at some point get this uh, case right here. Okay, you can uh, right click on the case and you can read this feature. All right, it allows you to decorate the garage. So um, you can remove parts, add, uh, remove parts, right? These are the two you would use. So if I were to remove that air pump out there, I'd go remove, um, I'd go out here, I'd click on it and just hold it down, boom, done, it's gone. So if I wanted to add it, first of all, you need to go into the, um, you need to go into, let me get out of this. You need to go into the work, uh, the, um, um, your catalog here and buy whatever you need. These are all the bonus parts that I've got downloaded. Some office furniture stuff. He's got uh, people. He's got people in there. Uh, office lamps. He's got all kinds of crazy stuff, right? And here is like the, the entire inflator. But you have to buy these, right? So you'll buy them. There's like one credit. These guys are like one credit, right? But I've already got one bought. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to this. I'm going to click on that. Um, uh, right click on it. I'm going to add an part, right? And you have these... Um, Orbs. These orbs will tell you where you can place this stuff. So if you look around anywhere, you'll see the orbs here, there, and everywhere. So like right here, you've got the orb. Um, right here, you have the orb for this particular part. Um, let's see, where else do you have the orbs? Uh, you know, these are back here for signs. You can put them up there. Um, but for right now, what I'm going to do is I want to add it right here. 
So what I'm going to do is kind of click on it, hold my mouse down. It'll ask me which one I want to take. I want the old tire inflator. Bad boom. We've got it. Let's add something else. Let's add like a character. So he's got like tons of characters, right? So we're going to add a part. Um, oh, wait, wait a minute. Like I said, we need to, um, we need to buy someone. So let's buy, uh, let's buy ourselves a character here. Uh, this guy looks good. Looks like he's waiting for something. We'll buy him. All right. So now what we're going to do is go to here. Uh, we're going to add a part. We're going to look for the orb, right? So this guy where I want him actually is out here. If he's allowed to be out here. He's like, like, he's looking for time, right? Ahab, he's looking for, he's looking the time. So you can decorate your garage all you want to. I don't like him there, but he's out of there. So now you get the gist of what you can do. There's office furniture, there's people. Um, there is just all kinds of stuff. Let me go back into what I have. At least, um, let's get out of that. Uh, at least what I have. Um, so all these characters uh, got uh, shelving, office shelving, smartphone, um, some PC stuff, office barrel lighting. Uh, we have these signs, which are pretty cool too. Uh, he has a couple of signs. Uh, this one right here, I like that one. Just to showcase what can be done with the characters uh, from Jackal's workshop, we've got uh, this young lady here as a DJ. Uh, a couple of characters hanging out by the tow truck. Uh, we also have uh, these crazy looking characters on the side of the ice machine. And we have this young lady out here uh, giving you three fingers in the air saying basically, hey, it's all cool. So, yeah, these pictures. Uh, were taken and given to me from Country Thang, who is also known as um, Matt Moore over on my Discord channel. So thanks, Matt, for that. And all these have been provided by Jackal. Most of these um, garage decorations are by Jackal. So uh, take a look at the workshop and see if there's anything that you like. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this like, slight tutorial. I hope it was at least somewhat entertaining, and at least you learned something from it. Um, a lot of things that can be taken away from this. There's a lot of things you can do with the QOL mod. Um, just It's just tons and tons of things you can do. I just ask that you, one, always back up your files. If you decorate your garage, if you decorate your garage, you will notice um, there is a file that you will need to copy and make a copy of. It's in your garage. It will be in your garage um, customizations folder. You'll see it. Um, take that, copy it, uh, rename it to something else. Because again, when you download the QOL mod, it will overwrite that and all your decorations will be gone again. So you'll have to redo it all. All right. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to talk to you guys later. I will talk to you all soon. This is Hurst Quasar saying good night, everyone. And uh, I'd love to see those parking lots. I'm out.